everybody, my name's Gemma and I'm here to introduce you to our music therapist called Fliss. Fliss is going to be working with us at Ellesmere College and with some students and has kindly created some online video resources that you can take part in at home. They're full of lots of fun musical activities. We hope you enjoy them. Here's Fliss. Hi everyone, this is Fliss here and I'm the music therapist here to show you another video about what you could do with music at home. So we've got a song today which is going to help us identify, so look for and understand parts of our body. Okay, so you might know heads, shoulders, knees and toes, but this one is a little bit different. This is called Tony Chestnut. Okay, and the song goes like this. We have to start pointing at our toes first. We go, Tony Chestnut knows I love you. Tony knows, Tony knows. Tony Chestnut knows I love you. I think Tony knows. Okay, well done. So when I'm saying knows I love you, I'm making this shape with my hands. Can you see? Got my fingers curled and my thumbs touching and that makes a heart shape. Okay, so should we all try that again together? So starting with our toes. Tony Chestnut knows I love you. Tony knows. Tony knows, Tony Chestnut knows I love you, I think Tony knows. Well done. So if you are really good at that, we can try it a little bit faster. Okay, so let's see if you can keep up. Ready? Tony Chestnut knows I love you, Tony knows. Tony knows, Tony Chestnut knows I love you, I think Tony knows. Well done if you managed to keep up, that's brilliant. And if you didn't manage to keep up, that's absolutely fine. Have a bit more practice and see if you can get it quicker. Well done. So the next thing I'm going to show you what you can do, and we'll do it with me leading today, but at home, you can have somebody else as a different leader. I am going to get some wrist bells. Okay, and I'm going to put them on my wrist like this. And this is called a stop and go game. Okay, so whoever has the bells on their wrists, me or whoever is leading the game, they are going to be in charge of when people stop or go. Okay? So, if you are leader, then you can either have the bells or your hands will be in charge like this. And if you're not the leader and you're following, then you can either do some body instruments. So you could either tap your legs like this, or you could clap, or you could click or you could stomp like this. Or if you have some instruments at home, like I've got, you could have a shaky egg or a maraca. Okay. And the aim of this game is to play when the leader is shaking their bells or has identified that they want you to play with their hands, maybe like this. And then when they need to stop. Okay, so when I'm asking you to play your instruments, I'm going to go like this. And when I do that with my hands, stop my bells and pull my hands back, that's when you need to stop playing your instruments. Okay. So we'll do it a few times with me. Are we ready? Get your instruments or your hand or body instruments ready. And go. And stop. And 
and go. And stop. Very good. So you have to see if you can go and stop just while the leader is doing the actions and not saying anything. So you can choose a leader at home. And if you don't have the bells, then you can do just waving. Or you can have go and stop. If you like. And if you want to make it even more challenging, you can ask people to get louder with their playing by going like this. Get louder, get louder, get louder. And then when they're really loud and you want them to get quieter, you can go like this. And then stop. So that is a fun game that you can play at home, whether you've got instruments or whether you just don't want to do it with your tapping or your stomping or however you'd like to do it. Excellent. Well, I hope you have lots of fun playing that game at home and I shall see you soon.